on your butt, feeling like a weenie. weenie. But now it's 5.30, it's time for our martini. Welcome to our show, welcome to our kiki, kiki the 5.30 quarantini. We did it! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I always feel so weird as soon as we come out of that. I'm like, what do you do? Because we used to sing that live, but now that it's a video... I sang it live I today. You just didn't hear it. Oh, no, I didn't. But I'm glad you sang it live. I feel good I about did. that choice. Yes. Um, hey, Dills. Hey, Michael. What's going on? Oh, you know, just another sensible day where it just rains for a little bit, and then it's absolutely gorgeous, and then it rains a little bit, and now it's absolutely gorgeous, and now I, apparently it's going to rain again. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I was so confused this morning. It was great when I woke up, and then there was one big thunderclap, at torrential downpour. Right, and it just came, came out of nowhere. Like, it, it, the storms are coming by. Things are coming by. Wait, what's the line? So quickly here. Wait, what is the line from Wicked? I have no idea what you're doing. Oh, from Wicked. The, the Metamorable line? I yeah. don't know. Let's get an alphabet on the line. I'll see what well, I can do. <laughs> We've got wait. 45 minutes. I'll see what I can do. I've got a few Perfect. on speed dial. Um, I am so excited for today's episode, you guys. Uh, hello. Welcome. I see people starting to arrive. If you're just coming in, make sure you drop a comment. Otherwise, we don't know you're here. But if you follow Joy's lead, we know you're here. Also, we know you got caught in the rain. So oh, my I'm God. We didn't that. find a Glinda. Uh, we didn't find an Alphaba, but we did find a Glinda. People come and go so quickly here. Thanks, Beth Cheryl, with the save. She's a she's a gal with the answers. I don't know. Um, it's a gal about town. A town about I the gal. I am so excited. Speaking about a gal about town and a town about the gal, I don't know. What kind of segue was that? I don't uh, know. We're crew, we're crew, we're crew, crew today. Uh -oh. We're not even, I have, I swear I haven't started yet. No, I haven't either. Um, well, speaking of starting, should we just, should we go, for, shall we go for it? We shall, we shall go for it. You guys, our guest today is, is a broad, he brings new meaning to the term triple threat. He can sing, he can dance, he can act. I think he can do the slack wire. Pretty sure he learned that for a show at some What's point. What's a slack wire? It's, uh, it's like a, oh, that's the type, yep. Tightrope walking. That you, you walk across. It's basically tightrope walking. Uh, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he can do that. We'll have to ask him when he gets here. Um, he was on Broadway. I'm going to try to do this from memory, which is super scary. Uh, in Chaplin. Mm -hmm. In Hello, Dolly. Mm -hmm. uh, in, there's like three more. Um, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got Wicked. it. Wicked. Cats. No. Grease. No. Phantom. No. Les Mis. No. Just going to start naming musicals. Or I'm going to continue to name musicals. Beth Cheryl, if you're still here, on the 20th century, Chaplin, She Loves Me, and Hello, Dolly. Nowadays, though, he is proving uh, some other skills backstage uh, as one of Broadway's favorite hairdressers and wig stylists. Mm -hmm. um, he is just a man that can do it all, and we're so excited that he's taking a little bit of, of time out of his day to hang out with us today. Beth is dropping all of his credits in the comments now. Thank you, Beth. You're a star. Uh, before we welcome him to the room, let's take a quick look at today's guest bartender. It's Justin Bowen. Not going left, not going right. Hello. You dim the lights and think about me. Spend sleepless nights and think about me. I said I loved you. Or was I just being kind? <laughs> or are you losing your mind? Yes, work. That is Justin Bowen. He is our guest today. He is our um, guest today. He is, uh, as I said, he has starred on Broadway multiple times. Now he is uh, starring backstage uh, in the hair department. And we're going to talk about his whole journey, his pivot, his was, pivot step. Was that video from a pronoun showdown? That video was from a pronoun showdown. Oh, my. I was I was like... <laughs> jamming out and then i was like none of these pronouns are correct you were like why are these yeah that's from a pronoun showdown uh which our buddy abby de phillips runs uh mm -hmm. abby de phillips and kimberly jenna simon uh where they switch the pronouns and songs and hilarity ensues yes absolutely oh my gosh so fun i know um and so i'm so excited he's gonna come and hang out with us today we've got lots to catch up on and might i just say i am particularly excited about today's game that's true. Today's game is a joint effort of hilarity. 
For the first time, we collaborated on a game, which means Justin's just SOL because he's got to play alone. Well, he can have he can have the people in the comments as well. Yeah. Well, uh, yes. I say let's just go for it. Let's bring him in. Yes, Are let's you ready bring to meet our in. special guest? Please welcome to the show, Justin Bowen. Hey, you guys. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I have the worst luck with technology. I'm so sorry. No, it's no all worries. good. We were I just... had like, it was a serene setting outside on the porch at my parents' house, but now I'm in my room. So all good. I know I can see the <laughs> Chaplin po- poster from here. That's that's my parents doing. That's not me. I'm, <laughs> I'm in Virginia with my parents, not at my apartment. Listen, we were not judging you. Um, have you been in Virginia for the whole quarantine stretch so far? Yeah, we got Oof. we got our um, not closing notice, but our notice that we were going to be closed for about three to four weeks. Um, this is Tina. Tina. Tina, Tina what you're, you're currently on? I am as a hairstylist. Um, mm-hmm. March 10th or 11th, and mm-hmm. I came home the 13th. So I've mm-hmm. been here gotcha. since March 13th. And I thought it was just going to be for a short amount of time, so I have no clothing. Great. Um, <laughs> and it's going so well. Great. <laughs> Great. I mean, I love it. It's like a little retreat. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, am I well, remembering it- correctly that you had to walk a tightrope in Chaplin? You are, yes, yeah. I, um, how wild, and you, uh, like how, I, I'm just amazed by this. You, there's truly nothing you can't do, I've decided. Well, um, <laughs> but I do yeah. well? I don't know. I don't know, listen, you did it better than I would have done it, so good on you. No, it yeah. was really cool, like uh, a couple of months leading up to the first rehearsals for the Broadway production of Chaplin, um, they sent myself uh, and Rob McClure and Eric Santagata, who was, um, another cover for Chaplin and we went to like clowning school. Um, so they sent us to strep slam in Brooklyn and we learned how to walk a tightrope, which was really, really fun. That That's is crazy. How so long did we... that take to learn? Uh, well, I don't know if I really learned it, but I learned, <laughs> you know, the, the basics of it. Um, we also took roller skating lessons. We took violin lessons. Like it was honestly to, to date the most intense um, preparation period for any show I've ever done. Mm-hmm. That yes, is so Beth, wild. The and violin. The violin. I was living with Beth at the time, and she had to listen to me practicing, and I was really. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Um, well, we're so glad that you're here to spend some time with us for a happy hour. Uh, before Thanks, we, boys. we've got a lot to catch up on, but but before we get to that, uh, I'm starting. I'm warm. It, this is empty. What is your happy hour drink of choice today for us? So it's not a skinny girl margarita, but it's a lazy girl margarita. It is literally. <laughs> I've got my my glass with ice. Okay. Great. I'm just going to mix this margarita mix. This is, the, um, I highly recommend it. Tre agave. Great. Mix. Um, and then, of course, a shot of Cuervo. Love it. Um, and then I don't like my margaritas to be really sweet, so I add a little bit of, like, just seltzer with lime. Got, got it. it. So, um... I'm going to do this right now on the floor in my childhood bedroom that is now a sitting room. Listen, we love it. Happy pandemic, everybody. Um, Happy I'm pandemic. Gonna use, I'm going to use you... this much lime because that's much uh, how much I have left in my house. Excellent. We love that. Do just a quick shot of tequila. And a yeah, little, I a also quick, have a little seltzer. A quick shot of tequila. I'm going to make... I'm also using Lauren Chapman, Lauren Nicole Chapman's coconut tequila. I, I love nice. Lauren Nicole Chapman. Her her quarantini last week was a coconut, a wait, coconut wait, wait, margarita ish, as well. Oh, mine is very clear. I guess that's what happens when you only have a third of a lemon, a lime, whatever that's called. <laughs> just just tequila. Dylan, you let us you let us know when you're ready. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm, I'm being a little bougie no, over here. That wasn't um, that wasn't judgment. I'm just. And so I'm a bougie girl margarita. I'm just super over here. parched over here. I'm so parched. So far, I've only put tequila and lime in a glass. Okay, well, I'm gonna cheers you with this. So I'll <laughs> cheers you with that. It'll be like a cheers. little shot. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm, price tag still on these. Classy. Um, so Justin, you were at Tina when when this all went down. How is that going? Um, our company has been really, really great. They've been doing bi-weekly Zoom calls. Um, to bi-weekly? Check with... Yeah. Wow. Well, bi-weekly, Much... what is that? Once every two weeks? Once Does... every two weeks. Much lazier than the company uh, cast who's Zooming every night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not every night. They were Zooming once a week. The company then... cast is like at a PJ party. A never then... ending PJ party. <laughs> I love that. I love that. No, they've been, they've been really good. They've been checking in. Um, you know, just 
having open forums for everyone to discuss, you know, what's been going on in the world, but then also checking in with us about, you know, the show coming back. And I feel very supported by that, which is great. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I did not get, to, I have not yet seen the Tina play. I actually can't believe that because... I know you and you would lose your mind for Adrian Warren. So what are you I, doing? Girl, what, I know. What are we waiting for, Michael? I, I had a hard time. It's a, it's a show in demand. I had a hard time getting tickets, but you it's guys true. believe when we come back, I will be first in line. I cannot wait. I have a, like a, I have a short list. I, I need to see Tina dying, dying, dying. I am dying to see Doubtfire. Yeah. Um, what? I, I want to see six. Uh, Joy is send, uh, sending some love to Tina in the comments. Yas, um, if anyone here I has seen You Tina, haven't seen any of those shows? I've seen six, but I saw it in Chicago. I did not oh, okay. see it. All right, fair. Here's uh, the thing about Michael. The year 2020 has been this crazy thing for Michael Hall. Michael was on vacation all of January and February, and then March happened. <laughs> where did you go? We're on vacation where? He was like skiing upstate Vermont. Okay. Upstate Vermont. Right. Um, he was skiing in Vermont. He was skiing in Colorado. He was skiing in Utah. He was in California. He was at a wedding. What's weird is I normally don't vacation or travel a ton. So like maybe I broke the system. Like maybe I pushed it too far and the world just was like shut her down. Yeah. Don't know. You exposed yourself to too many people and their viruses. Uh, so, the because I, I mean, I haven't really seen anything this season, really, because just like life was so crazy. And then the weekend before everything closed, I saw, we saw Celine Dion on Friday. I saw Company on Saturday and I saw Six on Sunday. And it was uh, like, that was my last weekend pre-quarantine in New York. I just kind of assumed that anyone who loved like strong women and fierce belting would make like Tina the top of their list. Girl, I'm telling you, we did. And then uh, <laughs> there was one night that we were close to getting tickets. I, I was I actually say won, this. I think I won the lottery or something. Either way, we were really close to getting tickets. And listen, we are um, here at the 530 Quarantini. We are supportive of everybody. Like, we love understudies, <laughs> swings, whatever. But, uh, but, but I will say Tina is so blessed with the most amazing understudies um, Adrian Warren, of course, has the role, but then her alternate is in Keki, and the um, understudy who's in the ensemble, uh, Kayla, is incredible. It's like yeah. you, you can't go wrong. You'll get you'll get an amazing performance no matter what. Yeah, and 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 I would love to see all three of them, but this night that we were close to actually finally getting our tickets, Adrian was out, and Adrian is someone that we know, and so I really would like to see Adrian first. I get um, it. I understand. But we were so close. Uh, so when it, when it comes back, I I, I, I simply can't wait. Uh, but speaking of your current gig, doing hair on Tina, the smash hit Broadway musical, uh, we put together back, a little- Coming back 2021. Coming back in 2021. We put together a little game for you today. Oh mm -hmm. God. Today, your game, Justin Bowen, is name that Broadway hair. So the, here's the way this is going to work, and I'll be fully transparent. We're a little nervous. This sounded like it was going to be easier when we built the game, and it turns out it's a little tricky. No, it'll be right. fine. Uh, we're going to show you some iconic Broadway hair. I'll let you know okay. if it is – I will let you know if it's either a wig that someone's wearing in a show famously or if it is just a famous person from the Broadway world's hair. Okay. Uh, your job is going to be to name – the the Broadway hair. And if okay. you need help, uh, Dylan and I have both seen this deck, so unfortunately we can't uh, play along with you, but we're both available to throw some hints your way. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, okay. As and, is and the everybody audience. in the comments. The audience, yeah. The okay. audience is available to help as well. All right. Wait, I'm nervous. Okay, let's Don't be try. nervous. Don't be you nervous. You should be. No, I you're not gonna Broadway. be nervous. Uh, here comes your first Broadway hair. Now this is not a character, this is just an actual human being. Bernadette uh, Peters. Of course it's Bernadette Peters. Come on. What? Oh, I forgot. Uh, when you get it right, <laughs> you'll hear Alex Newell riffing. Uh -huh. yeah. um, of course that's Bernadette Peters. And uh, isn't that such a fierce, I found these pictures, and isn't that such a great picture, Bernadette Peters? <laughs> like, this should be when she plays the lead in, the lead, when she plays the mom <laughs> in Bombshell. Like, that should be I her love, headshot. I love her so much. Um, you guys work together on um, yes. Dolly. See, on the doll. My, my dog's favorite toy was a gift from Bernadette to Cruiser, my, my puggle. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Uh, obsessed. All right. Well, you're one for one. I knew you were going to be good at this. Uh, <laughs> let's see. This is, they're in no particular order, so I also need to remember them as they come. But here is your next Broadway hair. 
Oh yes. Okay. So this is this is a character. It's Patty Lapone as Reno Sweeney and the revival of Anything Goes. Anything goes. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, of course. That is Live at Lincoln Patty Center. Lapone. There she is in all yes. of her glory. Look at that smile. <laughs> also, look at that screenshot I got. Nailed. Also, I love this performance because every time the ensemble starts tap dancing, Patty leaves the stage. <laughs> she was busy. She had other things to do. She's very busy. She's she's touching up her wig. Yeah. yeah. Well, if only she had. Uh, there is one part where you backstage. see her just being like this with her wig. Just just fluffing. <laughs> also, and what a wig that is. What a wig that is. All right. So far. What a wig. So far, we're cruising right through. Uh, let's see if we can stump you on this next one. Can we name? Oh, this is part of the series that I'm calling the Battle of the Bobs. There's quite <laughs> a few Bobs in here today. Uh, um, I have two thoughts. It's either Stun Foster as Millie or, um, no, I'm gonna say Stun Foster as Millie. Final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, of course, Sutton Foster as Millie, the thoroughly modern Millie. That one yes, was a little loud, modern. by the way, Michael. That was, that uh -oh. was Alex Newell was loud. I liked, I liked it. Belting, 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 belting. All right, what was that, three? We're three for three. Four for four? This took a lot of effort to like go through and like block out their faces. I'm Listen, impressed. Listen, Dylan and I worked as a team today. Dylan sourced <laughs> the photos, and I did the expert Photoshopping. It looks yes. like I just took scissors and cut them out, but... It's uh, it's super advanced, I promise. Okay, here we go. Name that Broadway hair. This is a person, not a character. It is Cheetah Rivera. Are you sure? Yes. Whoa! There she is, Cheetah Rivera. Justin, I have to tell you, as I was making this today, I was cutting them out and looking at them, and I was like, oh no, I thought this was gonna be fun, and I think this is gonna be so hard, but it turns out it is no match for you. Do you know how gay I am? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I do now. Uh, let's see. Can we name, speaking of gay, can we name this Broadway hair? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'm like not even gonna beat around the bush on that one. Well done. No. No, there I she is. Well, you would got, do like, that. So many to go through. I know we're all, we're 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 breezing we're about right halfway through. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Do I all should right. I take more time? <laughs> no, you're perfect. I am watching the comments, and people are crushing it along with you. Well done, guys. Um, well done, people. We're playing name that. If you're just joining, we're playing name that Broadway hair uh, with Broadway's hair stylist to the stars, Justin Bowen. Welcome to the five, and we're drinking a tequila drink of whatever we had in our houses. So either a margarita or any version of scaled down that. I call it the lazy girl margarita. The lazy girl margarita, I love it. All right, here comes your next Broadway <laughs> hair. Oh, this, okay, okay. This is a good one. This is a musical, this is a wig. This is a Are wig. We... Okay, now I'm confused. Are we throwing in boys too? Yes. yes. Is this? Is this Rock of Ages? This is not Rock, Rock, of, Rock of Ages. ages. <gasps> oh no. Is oh wait. It... No, 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 wait. Not Rock of Ages. Is, is that a clue? Is that Riff a clue? No, that was no. just a, that's that was just no what sound. happens when you get it wrong. <laughs> I want to say it's like Constantine Maroulis. Is it Jekyll and Hyde? It is not Jekyll and Hyde. It's not Jekyll and Hyde. Um, I will tell you this. These are going to be absolutely useless clues, but I'm going to send them your way. Uh, this person appeared on... Dylan and I's favorite television program, uh, Fox's uh, The Masked Singer, and he appeared as a peacock. How about that? Also, I th yep, go ahead. I think I need a, I think I need a lifeline. Okay. My, my other thought was Will, Will Swenson and hair, but now I don't, I don't know. No, I think no. we're going to have to throw it back further than that. <gasps> um, this Wait. photo is from a televised or maybe even a motion picture version of the musical. Jesus Christ, you're sir? No. But it's Donny Osmond. It's it, Donny Osmond. It sure is Donny Osmond. Uh, his, coat, his coat was red wow, and yellow wow, and wow, green wow, 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 and brown is. and blue. This is my favorite answer. <laughs> Joy thought it was Cher. I uh, twas think... not share, but this is oh Donny Osmond. God. But you did, uh, you did nail that it was a male hairline real fast. You clocked that quick. Um, yeah. But I knew this one was going to be tricky. I mean, that forehead is epic. Yeah, that forehead is quite epic. All right. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm better at the divas. 
Well, lucky for you, we've got a few more coming your way. Okay, cool. I can't uh, wait. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. This is a person, and this is a person. This is just a person. I don't uh, know who this is. Oh, I know who this is. They are not in costume. This is just a, a famous Broadway person. Are they a Tony Award winner? They are yes, a multiple. many, many Tony Award winner. Oh, multiple. I was. I will be honest and say my original thought was Lena Hall. But so it's, it is, is not. It, is it Audra? It is also not Audra. I'm gonna. Th- I'm gonna give you a hint. You're barking up the wrong tree here. This is a gentleman. Oh, is it this, Tommy Toon? These are the luscious locks. Tommy Toon. Not Tommy Toon. These are the luscious locks of a male identifying multiple Tony Award winner who has a new show dropping on Disney Plus in three short days. That's Lynn's hair. This sure is. This is Lynn. Remember Miranda. when he? Had... <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lynn being like, also, I write musicals you need... <laughs> and win all the Tonys. Just oh. Google search Tommy Toon because Tommy had that hair. <laughs> oh my Wait. God. Oh my God. When? I don't know. The, I don't know. This I'm is... looking up Tommy Toon long hair. This is dear, darling, sweet, talented Lynn Memo. Oh my God. Oh. Tommy Toon did have that hair. Tommy Toon had that hair. So when you said multiple Tonys, I was like, that's Tommy Toon. Oh my gosh. Am I no. wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. We are. Um, oh, Lynn, I'm so glad you cut it. There he is. <laughs> So well, glad. You heard it. You heard it here, folks. All right. <laughs> here comes your next uh, Broadway hair. Now, I will give you a... Well, you go first. Yeah. Well, Don't give any my, hints out yet. My initial thought is that it's Carol Burnett. No, 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 no. Um, is it Donna McKechnie? No, 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 <laughs> no. Can I it, have a hand? Yes. Uh, you can, this I, is if a I were character, you, not a person. If I were you, I would look into the comments for some help. I don't know how to Oh, do you don't know how to see so. the comments. Don't worry about it. No. Uh, this is a character, <laughs> not a person. And this character is throwing it's you like, off. It's like bad cosplay of Winifred Sanderson. Correct. But that's only because <laughs> of that weird. That, I'll tell you that that weird widow's peak is not actually there. It's just a fallen curl. So the, the hairline would have been cleaner than having this weird little widow's peak. And also, this wig is traditionally sported by someone uh, who cannot order a drink in a bar. Uh, um, okay. So um, someone un- under the age of 21? Yes. Yeah, very much younger than 21. <laughs> With curly, oh, it's Annie. It sure is. Whoa! Uh, there she is in all of her glory. That- that wig has taken so many iterations over the years. I don't think that one was fair because that wig, that was like an eighty-year-old woman. <laughs> don't talk is, about Andrew McArdle that way. Is that is that a picture of Andrew McArdle? I honestly don't know. I think so. <laughs> we're I not think sure. so though. It looks like it could be. I mean, if that's the OGN, fine. But like, what were they thinking? This like, looks... what what toddler's hair looks like that? Right. Well, I I initially put up a picture. I almost sent a picture of Lilla Crawford, but I don't like the way that her wig was either. I think we uh, have this hers idea. Was like, hers was like hers longer. was, was like long the the woods. and like yeah. So yeah, don't know. So you got okay. who, who might be, but don't you see that that could also be Donna McKechnie and Promises Promises nine hundred percent. And also, it's totally every <laughs> every uh, Bette Midler wig that like Ricky sells for Sanderson Sisters, like just like <laughs> oh, kind sure. of rather a blob. <laughs> Anywho. For sure, yes. All right, moving moving right along. Michael, weren't you, well, that's Tracy Turnblad, obviously, okay, but you. weren't we're gonna, you. We're just going to breathe right past that. What else you got? <laughs> weren't weren't you, didn't you do um, uh, Winifred Sanderson for Halloween once? I did not. That, did you? I've, I've always okay. wanted to, but she's a little overdone, don't you think? I don't know. I mean, it's like. I've done. Oh, my um, dog is crying at the door. Did, I'm going to get him. No. Who, who was the, your. Uh, when you did evil Disney, I've done Cruella. A, I've done I've done a Cruella Deville, and I've done uh, uh, what's her name from Six. Uh, Fierce, James, I loved James I loved that one. Thank you. Um, all right, moving right along, we are in the home stretch. Can we name this Broadway hair? 
Oh. oh, good cropping, Michael. Thank you. I had to work really hard to crop this one. That's See, your yeah, I was going to make this one the first one if I was creating the game. No. God, I don't know. Here's a, a hint. hint. Joy yes. says Jane, but I don't know what that means. Jane C- oh, Jane Seymour is who I was for Halloween last year. Oh. Okay. Uh, here's your hint. Uh, this one was handpicked just for you, <laughs> Justin Bowen. Uh, and the wig is not the only thing on this actress's head. Ooh, how about that for a clue? The wig That's is a not good the clue. only thing on this actress's head. It's a good clue. This is a hard one. I don't, I don't if know what just, that means. If you're just tuning in, I see you in the audience, and you know who's, what wig this is. Uh, I'm so excited about this one. So you know this wig very well. You know no, wait, is it Bernadette's dolly? Uh, j- j- be, less, be less specific. Just don't don't go be an overachiever. Just go for the the character. Is it Dolly? It sure is, but that's bad. But that's a that's not the. Hold on, go back to the other picture because that's. Oh, I guess this, I I <laughs> this thought is, it's red, but it is blonde. This is the exact same picture. I just took her face out. There it Are is. Are you sure? Yeah, I did the photoshopping. I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you know anything about photos? Because it doesn't look like a well, good Photoshop. Well, listen here. This, of course, <laughs> is Bette Midler giving you hello, hello Dolly, coming Dolly. across the passerelle. Uh, we stand. Like this. Can I tell you, my favorite thing about um, the tech <laughs> job, of Dolly was that they couldn't decide what color Bette's hair was going to be. So um, every couple of days, she would be in a different color of wig. And sometimes she brought in her own. Of course, because Bette Midler has many a wig. Yes, she does. Um, so originally she was supposed to be a redhead like all of the other ones, um, but at the last minute decided to be blonde. Oh my God, obsessed. But um, she looked so beautiful as a redhead, and I'm kind of sad she didn't go with red, but she's iconic Bette. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah, sure right. can. Do you guys remember that And last, did, live um, on Broadway. Eight, yeah. Uh, six, six times a week? Seven? She do it six or seven times a week. Seven. And Donna got Tuesday nights, I think. Um, Correct. Uh, remember that last Broadway revival of Noises Off with um, yes. Andrea Martin and uh, uh-huh. Megan, Hilti, Megan, Hilti. Megan Hilti, who was so good in that. Rob McClure. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, who I'm obsessed with. Uh, so the story goes, I heard this from Jed Resnick. We went backstage after the show to meet somebody, and I can't remember who we were meeting. But anyway, the story goes that Andrea Martin, early in the tech process, when they were like finalizing wig plots, she was like, I have this idea for Dottie. Every time I come on stage, I'm just going to wear a different wig. And so they got her like a slew of wigs, and she would just change them all day. (laughs) And then they got into tech, and they were like, okay, we gave it the old college try, but like, we we got to pick a wig. Like, <laughs> so so similarly, um, the idea for Dolly was that every time Bette was on stage, she would be wearing a different costume. So you never saw her in the same dress twice. And she, I don't know, if, I didn't sign a non disclosure, so I can say this, but she was so annoyed by changing costumes. And she was like, <laughs> "Where did where did Dolly go to change her clothes? Like it's the same day. Why am I in a different outfit every single time?" Right. Like the whole show takes place in a day. Right. So there are so many costumes that no one ever saw. And I'm sure that they were thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, I'm and they sure. Were, they were beautiful, but it was just like, why is she now in a completely different outfit? <laughs> well, Maeve, if you're watching, I would love to see if you have a photo out there. Yeah. Maeve oh my God. Her dresser, who I adore, was Patty's dresser for most of her 50 Purple O-Rounds. I love Maeve. And she is a doll. And I would love to see if you are watching. If Maeve. anyone saw the show in the number dancing, she was in this teal outfit. And then originally when she came back from dancing to go into parade passes by, she was in this um, really pink number. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I was like, Bet, you look amazing. And she was like, I look like fucking little Bo Peep. (laughs) (laughs) See, the only way I think they'd get away with that is if they gave her the whole thing as tearaways. Like, could you imagine an alternate world in which Bette Midler is tearing away costumes throughout the entire show of Hello, Dolly? (laughs) Oh my God, I would be dead. (laughs) I would be dead. Yeah, no, there's there's so many dead, so many dead Dolly costumes. Oh, uh, right. I think so we have sad. three or four left. Um, here's your next Broadway hair. It's Mrs. Lovett. Of course, that's Mrs. Lovett from uh, iconic Angela Lansbury, Obsessed. Um, how about this one? It's Belle. Oh, my God, Justin. 
Sure is. There she is. Broadway's Susan Egan, the OG Belle. <laughs> we should get love. Susan on here, Michael. All right, I'll make a. I'll send her a text. Can please. I? Can I come back on with her because I'm obsessed with her? Girl, so am I. The last time that we, well, we'll talk off the air. I don't know. I, there's a. There's got to be a line somewhere. Uh, here <laughs> is your next Broadway hair. Oh, uh, is it the Labyrinth, David Bowie? Uh, close, but no. It's Tina Turner. Of course oh. it's Tina Turner. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, if he does not get this, that'd be <laughs> hysterical. Um, I think this is your last one. And if I remember, it's a little tricky. It's part of, it's like, okay. I'm calling it part of the Battle of the Bobs, but it is not a bob. Um, is it, um, is it what, baby share, babe my share? My God, there's yeah. nothing you can't do. So good. Look at Michaela. <laughs> Look at Michaela, former guest of the show. We love her. Um, I'm Did she play going, babe? Was she the babe there? She was the babe. I'm going to say that you crushed that, and uh, we're going to call you a winner, baby. Yes. I just I just What's wish my... we could all watch Cher right now. I do, too. Oh, that that was amazing. a show that I would watch. I would I would go to that show again and again and again and again. You need a Michael Fatica on here. I love him. Great. Let's sign her up. <laughs> um, do I get a prize? Uh, you get to be on the show. You get to remain oh, a guest yes. on the show. Congratulations. Because I... we are in overtime. Oh my God, we oh. sure are. It's the after party. Drinks just went to full price. Happy hour's over. Happy six o'clock. Um, we're officially in overtime, which means before we can let you go oh. anywhere though, Justin, uh, we do have two questions that we've been asking everybody on the show. Okay. Uh, question one. Um, in this crazy, bizarre world that we are currently living in, uh, blah, um, what is something that has given you some joy or kept you sane or something you've looked forward to? Uh, like what's, what is, what's helping you through the days these days other than, uh, skinny girl margaritas, lazy girl I, margaritas. Lazy, I have decided to go back to cosmetology school. Um, so I not go back. I never went to cosmetology school. I went from being an actor to doing hair. It was always a hobby, something I did on the side. And now on the 13th, I'm going to go back. So I have, I have the time. I've got like seven the months. The 13th of July? Yeah. That's wow. so exciting. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm doing it here in Virginia with my family. So that's, it's very interesting. But, yeah. you know, what What else are you going to do? That's so cool. Congratulations. So call me up for your haircuts, but in like eight months. In eight months. when, when You got it. I mean, I'm going to need one before then, but. I won't know how, but. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hopefully by, by the end, I will be very capable. Great. Yeah. That's amazing. Congratulations. And that's I can amazing. fix your roots. Please. Oh my God. You guys, I loved my blonde so much, but now it's, now it's just, this is where I am now. So I kind of love it a little grown out though. I think it it's looks very great. boy band, which I'm digging because obviously I love a boy band. Um, um, are you kidding me? Come on. Maybe we should start one. When you get back, call me up. Let's start a boy band with our swoopy. Cool. Oh, our I was hoping we would have the clip it. from yesterday and I could just be like, you are no. my fire. No, no, no. We clean house every day. The one. Um, and so then my last question, which kind of, I guess, bleeds into the question you just answered, but yeah. you'll, you'll find more things to say. Uh, Beth Cheryl says, the shade. Um, what is, so, you know, not that we are rushing the process that the world is going through right now and whatnot, um, but if and, w not if and when, wow, these when. are delicious. When, um, when the world gets back to normal, which it will, what are you looking forward to? What's kind of... Uh, the light at the end of the tunnel for you. What can't you wait to get back to? Um, what you know? What keep? What are you? What are you looking forward to? When I think, and I know you haven't seen it yet, but it's the the start of the show, so I won't ruin it, I, or I will ruin it, but it won't matter. But the curtain rises on <laughs> Tina. Um, I'm so excited to hear the roar of the audience, and when I think about that, that kind of makes me tear up because I think it will be so thrilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's such an epic way to start a show, and I know that the energy of the cast is going to be amazing, and the energy of the audience that it's like, it will be so worth it to have that epic moment in all of our lives, and I, I think it's yeah. going to be great. Ah, I'm so I excited for Broadway to come back. It will. Yeah. It I know. will. I just can't wait. <clears throat> I feel like everybody needs to pick a show to go see. Yeah. The, the moment it returns because to have every audience should be full. And oh, I think, I think that really first night back moment. is going to be wild. Yeah. We were talking I about this so. the I, other I week. I really hope so. We were talking about this the other week with Matt Doyle saying that like, we just like hope that like when Broadway, like Broadway just has like an opening weekend and like shows open on like a Friday, sh other shows open on Saturday. And then it's just like a big party all weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it would be oh, amazing. it'll be so fun, be and because mm -hmm. there'll be a there'll be a vaccine by then, so we'll be able to. Party. Yeah, 
Oh, God, Party. I... Anywho, um, amazing. Justin, you're the best. Thank you for spending happy hour with us. Yes. Uh, thank you for knocking oh my the God. game thank out you of the, for the park. Thanks for the challenge. I loved it. Oh yeah. God, oh my gosh. You nailed it. I'm you very nailed impressed. It. Um, and congratulations on going back to cosmetology, going blah, 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 going to cosmetology going to, school. Yes. Uh, so, so, so excited for you. And also can't wait to see you when you're back in New York and, and things are kicking again. I yeah. know. I'll see you so soon. I miss you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. we miss you too. Oh my gosh. More love for Tina in the comments. Some people have seen it. Some people haven't, but everybody seems to love it. Uh, Justin, you're the best. Thank you for spending happy hour with us. Thank and, uh, you. we'll see you soon. Okay. Yes. Bye guys. Bye, Bye Justin. Best. Oh my gosh, that, that was, was wonderful. That was so great, and also he crushed that game. I can't even. I can't believe. believe. I um, mean, I thought that Bell one was, was gonna get him. Didn't I thought Bell was gonna look like uh, like I don't know. I thought it looked like a like I knew Donny Osmond was gonna be hard, but like, mm. and the share one too. Yeah, I and thought share was like, gonna be such a hard one to to. And I was on. like, only if you keep singing, hoax. So come on, Shay, I say you'll try comedy. Anywho. Uh, you guys, it's Tuesday and we're already loopy, uh, which means yes. it's going to be a good week. Speaking of a good week, Dylan and I are back tomorrow at 5.30. Yes, uh, we our are. Our guest is a singer, songwriter, uh, activist, Broadway star, uh, one of the funniest people I know. Tomorrow's guest is Joel Wagoner. Um, who I'm just, honestly, I'm just so excited to see it's him. It's going to be so fun and I hope... I have an idea about something we should, we have to talk about after this is over, but I think it, it's come back tomorrow. Oh, it's going to oh. be, a, it's going to be a wonder. What a teaser. Now I'm excited. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, you're late. you're late. You missed our very special guest bartender today, who is a Broadway triple quadruple five times over threat. Justin Bowen was our guest today, mm -hmm. uh, coming to us all the way from Virginia, Virginia. Um, and we made a lazy girl margarita. If you don't follow Justin, uh, here here it comes. There goes his handle right now, Justin Bowen Hair. Justin Bowen Hair. Go follow him. It's a good follow. And when he gets back here, uh, he'll do your all of your hair needs. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. You're welcome for that hookup. Yes. Uh, Michael, are you doing anything fun tonight? Am I? Is that a trick question? I don't think I am. Did I forget anything? No, I'm just. Oh asking. no, I'm doing absolutely nothing fun. This was the highlight of my day. This is always the highlight of my day. <laughs> so here I am. I'm gonna finish this drink. I'm gonna watch uh, some Netflix and I'm gonna take a nap. It's gonna You're gonna great. Netflix and chill. I am going to Netflix and chill. Heyo. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we have for everybody today. Is that is great. that right? That's all cool, I cool. have. Again, one last thank you to Justin Bowen, who joined us today as our special guest bartender. His mm -hmm. handle is in the, in the bottom. Give him a follow. And we'll see you again tomorrow at 530 with our special guest bartender. Uh, who Joel is, Wagner. Who's just a light. And I can't wait to see him. You guys, so fun. wear a mask. Wash your hands. We love you all. 